Good morning, garden friends. Welcome back to my house and for another wonderful project. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit on how to prepare your succulent gardens for a successful winter. These are actually hanging succulent gardens that are, can hang vertical on your fence and they do really well. So what I'm going to do is lay them horizontal and get, get to work on them so that way I can prepare them for a healthy winter. First thing you want to do, rip out any weeds, any dead or dying branches, material, old leaves from old growth in there. If you can remove that gently and get it out of there, that'll make some uh, space for air and sunlight to penetrate for more growth to take over. Uh, this is also a really good time to get in there and give it some nutrition. I've chosen to give it this nice little uh, organic fertilizer that does really well for my succulents. And so uh, I suggest you find a fertilizer that works well for you and this is a good time to give it some nutrition so that way it'll, it can feed as it uh, grows through the winter. Also, you've uh, oftentimes you'll lose a little bit of soil throughout the summer or just as plants grow and as the, the container loses that soil. So you really want to get in there and replenish any soil that's been lost over the season and you can kind of just pour it in there. And uh, for me, I kind of uh, give, give a little vibration to get it uh, settled in there. Once you have enough soil in there, you can kind of water it. Get, um, and what I also like to do is if there's any open areas in my bed where maybe a plant died or didn't make it, or maybe when the you know when you first planted you didn't think uh, you'd need it, but now I have an open area, and so I'm going to put one of my succulent cuttings that I've been working on this summer right in there. Get get her little roots down in there. Get some soil around there. A little more soil. Get it watered. And then now that open area is now filled in. So now your, your garden bed is fertilized, it's weeded, it's replanted. Um, I've act, you'll actually wanna water it right now. And then one last thing I do for these vertical ones is I'll actually soak some sphagnum moss. Well, if you can see that there. I've got some wet sphagnum moss. You can buy this pretty much any garden center, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatnot. Uh, and then you just get it really wet. You can get some that, uh, excess water out. And what I'll do is I'll kind of interweave it into these holes because I have there's actually hardware cloth, uh, cloth, cloth. Uh, there's hardware cloth in there, which is basically just metal mesh wire that kind of helps hold that soil in place. But one le one thing I like to do is just add a bit more of this sphagnum moss in there, and like I said, you can use a, a an old chopstick or a tool or even a stick, and you can kind of poke it down in there and interweave it into your system. And so what that'll do is that'll create a nice layer in there. It'll eventually break down and become part of the soil too. It holds water, moisture, air, but it'll really help trap in that soil from uh, from sloughing away and eroding. Because what we really want is a nice, healthy, finished planter, fertilized, weeded, planted, ready to go for the winter. So that way we can hang it up and have a great season. All right, now you have the tips on how to be a little garden pro. Your turn to go try it out. Take care.